Perseverance has reached rocks that may be part of widespread volcanic deposits formed by cataclysmic explosive eruptions. On Earth, humans have never witnessed such events, but we can explore their aftermath, which sometimes produces bizarre landforms. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance recently exited terrain rich in clay minerals and arrived in olivine-rich rocks, as I reported in the previous episode. From this spot at the geologic contact, it drove about 180 meters upslope to another exposure of outcrop. Here are Mars guys for scale and perspective. Although the slope is still steep here, Perseverance appears to have not struggled like on previous attempts elsewhere. See episode 227. This vantage point provides a stunning vista, which likely includes exposures of what's referred to as the regional olivine bearing unit, the largest and richest deposit of this volcanic silicate mineral on Mars. The purple and magenta hues in this mosaic of false color infrared images from the orbiting Themis instrument represent olivine rich terrain, including in Jezero Crater. It covers an area of about 70,000 square kilometers, which is the size of Ireland on Earth. The rocks that Perseverance is encountering in the upslope location are notably similar to the ones downslope. This includes the coarse grained texture and multicolored look seen in the previous location. The changing light angle from the LEDs on the Watson camera also reveal glinting crystals with rainbow reflections like in the previous location, and an indicator of olivine. The rocks here also display a chunkiness that attests to the energy of the process that deposited this material. Pebbles like these are too big to be moved by wind, so we are certainly not looking at sedimentary rocks deposited by wind. Fast-flowing water could move pebbles like this, but they and the other grains don't show the kind of rounding that result from tumbling in moving water. Large impact events absolutely could deposit angular pebbles and even large boulders, but the concentration of olivine is hard to explain with this process. Some volcanic eruptions, though, are similarly energetic. Volcanic calderas that are popularly known as supervolcanoes produce cataclysmic explosions that erupt what's referred to as pyroclastic density currents. The Long Valley Caldera in East Central California is barely recognizable, but it erupted about 760,000 years ago, producing turbulent flows of nearly molten ash and rocks that created a 200 cubic kilometer deposit now known as the Bishop Tuff. I was there a few months ago with a small team of scientists and students as I presented in episode 214. We were documenting the kind of rock textures and minerals produced by eruptions like this for comparisons to Mars. We visited a place that may be unique among volcanic tuff deposits, also known as ignimbrites, but it offers insights relevant to Mars. The stone columns along the edge of Lake Crowley, a reservoir completed in 1941, are truly surreal. They're thought to be the result of water that percolated into the tuff while it was still hot, leading to convection cells with descending cool liquid water and ascending hot steam from the water after it boiled. The ascending steam precipitated the zeolite mineral mordenite, which effectively armored the soft tuff along the path. Later erosional processes, mostly from the waves of Lake Crowley, eroded the unarmored tuff leaving the more resistant columns in a distribution that reflects the thermal convection cells. You may have noticed the chunkiness of these tough deposits. This is due to both pumice fragments and lithic clasts, which are pieces of rock blown out of the caldera or picked up along the path of the flowing ash during the eruption. Lithic clasts are a possible explanation for the chunky look of the rocks observed by Perseverance. The Bishop Tuff is not olivine rich, but that's a function of the magma involved in the eruption, which could have been olivine rich on early Mars. 
the hydrothermal activity that led to the columns in the Bishop Tuff is a possibility on Mars, but the combination of processes that led to their formation probably means that Perseverance won't be stumbling on such bizarre landforms.